Alright, we in here. I think I want to see a lot of... Uh, I, I think the hardest thing that Nelvin's had a trouble dealing with is you can't play the... Oh, we're... Yeah, you see that? That's nonsense, by the way. You can't play the we're on flat ground so you're in my territory game because of Hydrant and Trampoline. Oh, yeah. No, that's actually something that I believe Pac-Man actually did well against Diddy Kong back in Smash 4 for similar reasons. Whenever he drops the Hydrant down, that pretty much prevents uh, normally, I guess, the, the easier parts of Diddy's game plan from happening. And also, Sinji has a lot of... Uh, He's had a lot of experience with uh, items, so he's not just going to let you play banana like it's not also his banana. That's true. I mean, he's a fruit master. Yep. Yeah, I think Sinji had a... Uh, he, he, he tricked him into dodging banana and thrown, threw a key at him right after. It's pretty good. Could you imagine if Pac-Man had banana in his bonus fruit? That's not a... Well, it is a fruit. I know. Uh, okay. I don't think it's okay that uh that because you know it's a B move, you can hold banana in hand while still pulling fruit and charging fruit. It's ridiculous. It's really good. Yo, Nelvin takes the first stock. Let's go. Listen, it's you can hold two fruit. You can hold a fruit in one hand, and fruit in the other. I some fruits I can hold two in one hand. Yeah, he was going for the infinite setup. Hey, I mean, if you were to get a, an infinite on Sinji right now, that would be huge for him. And I also think it's worth mentioning that Sinji had been, like, really looking forward to his rematch against Ling. He just had it, and he lost to, uh, he lost 3-1. At the end there, it was also a little bit rough because of, there was that whole thing with the stitch face. But that means that Sinji might be feeling a little bit out of sorts, and he might he's really, really hungry to get a rematch against Ling Ling, which could maybe psych you out, you know? If all of a sudden, oh man, I'm losing to the guy in losers finals? Yeah. That dash attack that was is normally good. so hard to punish, and great job on Nelvin. The yeah, banana barely it. made it there. It was mad good. Yeah. Also, uh, Pac Man is one of the only two characters in the game that has no death scream off the top. Really? Yeah. Who's the other? Mega Man. Friggin' old style. Oh, he was so waiting for that roll in. He's like, roll in, let me up smash it, please. The Hydrant actually pushed Sinji back into range and oh man, Nelvin is just playing so well right now. Sinji needs to actually make comeback happen here. I saw about this before. I think it's interesting that uh, I didn't realize this, that uh, oh, that's that was so smart. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Barrel's definitely one-shot um, Hydrant, which is really cool. It's a lot of pressure. Uh, it to is deal a little with. bit. It is. It is risky, you know. Because uh, I think if Sinji just shields right next to the Hydrant, I think that he'll. He I think that he'll recover, like in time with the Hydrant like bouncing. Hmm. Maybe with the Hydrant bouncing, but it depends on which way the Hydrant bounces. Yeah. Wow, what a recovery from Nelvin. My man was dead under the stage. <laughs> I like the idea. Like, I like the mobility. Oh, he's like, yo, apple a day. Keeps the monkey away. I can't believe that... That poke, or did he let go? Did he try to parry? There's no way that poke. Okay, Sinji getting damage here. Will he actually make this comeback happen? He's at 156%. Granted, Diddy Kong is one of those kinds of characters where staying alive against him, if you don't get hit by banana, pretty easy. Yeah. You know, his kill moves, you know, he has down tilt into up down. smash. Down tilt fair will kill, like, eventually. That's, I don't Side B is going to kill, it. like, not here, but, like, if that was that ledge, I would have killed easy. Oh, yeah. Great Back job was good punish. That, that was yeah. a lot of good option coverage. Okay. He really needs this win right here. He's played way too... Oh! I it's not going to do it, but barely. Since he had 200% right now. Both Since these guys have been living on. for forever. Since he has Bell on deck, that's super scary. Right, Since he's taking time. Oh, no. He's actually throwing out a lot of these projectiles, too. <gasps> Woo! 
That was interesting. Down tilt, forward tilt. That's it. That was good. I wonder if he knew for a fact that the forward tilt was going to break the hydrant. Because I think it's like something stupid, like four down tilts or three down tilts in order to break the hydrant. But he down tilt and went for the um, forward tilt, which definitely isn't like uh, safe. It's not a safe option. But Hydrant made it safe because obviously flipping Hydrant, I'm not going to let go of his shield. Yeah, that was mad good. Yo, PC had an insane run this uh, today. Except when he almost faltered to Drilago. I've never heard of that guy, though. PC needs to teach me some Yoshi stuff. I'm right here. Wait, are you better than PC? What? Are you? Um, I mean, I don't play. <laughs> I think uh, technically I have better wins than him. But, uh, oh, oh. Sinji going deep with that dare. I, hmm, I'm confused. Yo, that was actually really cool. So he jumped Nair to catch a banana, and the Hydrant actually made it safe because it pushed him away. <laughs> oh, he DI'd in there. Oh, yeah, the spike would have worked. But he just had the respect for Sinji, and That's so he weird. got stunned by the thing. <laughs> uh, you know, every time, because like, that's happened quite a few times, where Sinji's hit him with the bell while he's doing the uh, the barrels, and so he just gets hit, like, you know, he has the shock animation, but he also gets, like, blown back 17 feet. So just like he's doing the electric slide in the air. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Dara? Yo, that dare almost took his life at 185. Yeah, I swear. The momentum on, on, on monkey flip slash banana stuff, like, is so wild. You'll actually go from a side of the stage to the other side of the stage. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Yo, that was, some, that was some fancy stuff. Yeah, since you're looking a lot more comfortable in this game. And it's the sort of thing where... As the games drag on, Sinji's going to just... Uh, usually, it isn't necessarily straight adaptation, but it's also he just figures out a game plan, because yeah. that's the nature of his... Oh, Yo, wow. going to take it. That was a good kill. Only 50%, like, extra credit is not 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 a big deficit. That was very clean. Never mind. Back to 80%. <laughs> I see some side bets happening in the chat. Sinji over Melvin, if anybody wants it. Sinji's more I wouldn't do that. Huh? Yeah, landing there was good there. I seem to be being very careful to like take the stock without losing additional uh, percent. All right, Sinji now at 76%. He's trying to figure out how a way to get this kill, but he's also being very careful. Very patient. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Sinji's the type of player where he's not going to. He, I don't think I've ever seen him get straight up antsy for a kill. <laughs> Because as Pac-Man, you always rely on your setup. So he might go for some riskier setups, but riskier like setups what is just well, like we don't even know what those look like. Like hydrant, and you go for back air on it, and supposed to forward air. Nah, all it means is he's going for smash stacks in neutral. That, that's that's his risky setups. His risky setups are I'm gonna go for the smash attack. I don't or even, I don't, he doesn't go for smash attacks in neutral. I shouldn't do it. He tried to call people out with up smash and stuff. His riskier setup is stealing Melvin's banana and taking it to him. I guess, yeah, like, I'd say, that, like, Sinji's riskier setup, so, like, he gets a hit and he goes for, like, the greedier punish. Yeah. <gasps> Slip! Ooh, okay, he actually goes for forward to that shield. That was... Oh. oh, he jumped into the high jump. I yeah, <laughs> that was great. Yeah.
That was just a brick joke, you know? Yep. Throws the hydrant up in the air. Everyone forgets about it. It's not on screen anymore. So you the, jump the, right into it. The first set was mad good for you, you side bet fiends, but uh, that that game that game for three stock was, was convincing. I think Nelvin just has to hunker down. Like, Sinji's not rushing his kills at all. So it's really the patient game. It's really like, I have to like sit back and whittle away at you, and then eventually I'll get something. Actually, which what stage this is? All right, by law, Three, uh, two, one, encore. This go. is probably going game five. Just saying. You think this is going game five? Maybe. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. I think game four. I believe in the jank. Game four, either way. Game four, either way. It's either gonna be. Uh, it's just gonna be. You know, either Sinji clutches out the next two games, or Nelvin gets like a crazy thing to happen, and then he basically rides that momentum into winning the game four. Yeah, what's up, YBM? I don't think Sinji's like a crazy momentum-based player. Uh, I don't think he is, but I think, well, he got momentum in that, like, he's more of a inertia, you know? Yeah. It's not so much that, like, oh, he has momentum, but he's, like, you know, going. It's more just like a slow, <laughs> a slow moving. slow boulder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it doesn't gain momentum, but, like, once it starts moving, you have to do a lot in order to stop it. And he walks around. I'm the juggernaut. <laughs> I think Sinji's actually the Kool Aid man. Oh, yeah! This <laughs> <laughs> walks through walls. Uh, I wonder why Nair instead of like Fair or Back Air there. I guess it was just faster. Probably reacted a little late. Yeah, I like the combo. Also, I think Nair lasts longer. Uh, just more option coverage based on... Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Melvin needs to close the set. <gasps> Yo, wow. that's mad good. Look at all these peanuts. Yo. He has so many legumes at his disposal. My man is at the circus. Actually, he's at five, guys. They sell bananas at Five Guys. Not bananas. What the hell? Do they have, they give there away free peanuts. I know they give away free peanuts. Oh no no, they have milkshakes. Done. There we go. See, See? ya. Oh, so I don't think he's the one getting shooken up right now though. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh, that was an up air. Right? That was good. That was a really good uh, hydro launch from Sinji. Oh, but regrettably he put him at the nice percent. All right, Sinji took him out of 69, so he can win this game now. Oh, that didn't punish? Did he just do it too slow? Yeah. <laughs> him getting risen up by the, the hydrant water is actually hilarious. In the middle of Monkey Ball. Oh, oh that, was that was such a nice input. Yeah, he definitely got like dash up F smash or something. Yeah, I think up smash. Up, was yeah, probably, da dash yeah. up up smash rather. Oh, and that could really cost him. Sinji's fingers are doing a little bit of the flubbies. That's, I mean, that could be really bad. Oh, or good if you're Nelvin. He kind of has a second lease on life right here. I like the idea of following through on that banana, but Sinji able to get away from it. But again, he survives it, but just barely. I don't think he can take another down tilt like that. Huh? This is mad close. If you mind this next stock, whoever takes it, it's going to be huge. If not, just because if Sinji takes the stock, he could do so much with the lead. Yo, that's, oh, oh, what the hell was that? That was Sinji vibrated out of out of range. Yo, my man is the Flash. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's crazy, dude. That up smash, that was some robbery. I mean, everybody got robbed. Sinji had the kill earlier with up smash and he flubbed it. If anything, that was just yeah, but that's matchup a, unfamiliarity. That's, that's a user error, not a. No, I would say I would. You're right. That was a. Uh, that was a. He just didn't know the matchup. He didn't know how the function. So therefore, uh, that's fair. if anything, it was an absolute knowledge thing. 
that he would have messed up every time. I uh, I definitely picked up uh, the banana in my set with uh, Nelvin and threw it at him and tried to F smash and realized I didn't have enough time after. Would have killed him for it. Yo. Ooh. Yo, we in there. We even. Oh I'm looking at Nelvin. Visibly, he's animated in his seat. Sort of doing Mario Kart the eye and everything. He is, really wants this win. This would be huge for Sometimes him. Sometimes you gotta leave on those motion controls, dude. Oh. He's definitely well aware that down tilt forward, uh, forward tilt breaks hydrant from full. That's oh. huge. Wow. All right. Yeah. Shinji finally utilizing that banana yeah. to the fullest, getting a uh, a nice win in that game three. All right. Let's see where we're going game four. Let's see what stage. Let's see if my prediction holds true, by the way, the that we would get only game four games in this set. I think he likes town because like monkey flip will kill sooner, so we'll like F smash at like ledge. Cause I don't and and you know, obviously you get F V variant from it. Yeah, I think that I think it's probably just like he maybe would want to it's just a nice middle of the road option for him. I think the stage definitely was working out pretty well for him for the most part. Uh, so I don't think that counter being to a different stage would have helped him. Galaxy combos, are we back to Smash Bros? The tried and true? We've all seen it. <gasps> that, that, the, the, okay. Oh, the trampoline stopped the punish. <laughs> I mean, listen, if Sinji got hit by that banana on purpose to bait him into landing on the trampoline. Whoa, the latest hit of that forward smash. Still able to launch Nelvin. Wasn't necessarily a stock loss for him, but... Yeah, at least the late, the late hit is a sour spot. <gasps> oh. The slippage actually got him past it. All things coming up since on, on, on the luck end of this, but, you know, maybe it's just knowledge. I mean, keep in mind that a lot of the mechanics are probably similar from, especially with Banana, are similar from Smash 4. Oh, no. The, the snipe. Yo, he went for that dare trying to two frame. Does it two frame? Does does, does did he dare two frame? Uh, I mean everything two frames. A ledge? No, oh, you mean on stage? Yeah, yeah, on stage, on stage. Yeah, I mean with it if it's put right in the in the exact right place, timed exactly properly, but very hard to do that. That was smart. Oh, that DI could not have been good. I don't think. I don't think, uh, well, I think he was probably already DIing for back throw. Yeah. He's, oh, yeah, yeah. He's already, like, trying to. He was trying to buffer back throw, so he was DIing exactly into the blast zone. That's huge for Melvin. Oh, what a forward air out of shield, noticing that he got dragged away from the last hit, so he unleashed that while he still could. Uh, that yeah. still poked? That was actually mad smart. And did a crap ton of damage. Well, okay, I, I don't know. I think barrels are random. I've heard, like, differing accounts on this, but I'm pretty sure they are. So... If not, please let me know. I've heard some rumors that it's like, you can control where the barrels go. But that, no, no, like, you can definitely control where the barrels go. After you get hit? Yeah. How? It still controls them. While you're getting knocked yep. away and hit stun? Mm-hmm. I think Dakpro was talking about it. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. I've heard. I've also heard other people say that you can. So I would just need pure confirmation on that one. Yeah, I've seen way too many things happen to think that. But I've also it's seen barrels just go off everywhere, not caring. It might yeah, be you confirmation. Can control. Yeah, you can. Bobo was talking about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right, and Bobo is a Diddy Kong player. <gasps> that was so smart. That Yo, was so oh, he took it. He's in free fall from that. Got the down tilt forward there. Yeah, see, you, you just control stick it. All right. Well, now I have it fully confirmed, and if it turns out it's wrong, I am blaming Popo. <laughs> really, it's not It's not a matter of, uh, you know, saying the correctly informative thing on the mic. It's just a matter of um, 
uh, having having a patsy. <laughs> a fallback guy. Nah, you don't Someone to take the fall. If you don't have a patsy, you got to be like ambiguous the whole time you're commentating. You're like, I think that this person beat this guy at the last local. <laughs> All that big no, mistake. that's just that's just being like. Nah, that's just the right way to do it. <laughs> Never say anything in terms of absolutes. Ah. Wait down air! Wow, the, the the fact he got trapped in front of that hydrant yeah. and everything. The hydrant pushed him back into it. <gasps> yeah, we got stuff. What? Monkey flip hydrant, such a weird interaction. Hydrant reacts with like half of the things in the game really weirdly. I've seen Wario <gasps> by Hydrant, that's really funny. The patience right now. Melvin realizing that he is at, at a dangerous point. Of <gasps> no, he went too far. Oh my god. Not like that. That's going in the recap.